We are going to work on shape and spaces. So we're going to do matches for quite a lot of the sessions today. But what we're going to do is we're going to try and get you spreading out into the right positions when you've got the ball. And we're going to look at how your position might be different when you don't have the ball. Okay? Does everybody get that when you've got the ball, you might have a different position to when you don't have the ball? Yeah? And if the red team have got the ball, they're going to stretch like we did last week, right? They're going to go with loads and loads of width. But if the yellow team are defending, they're going to go a little bit narrower. Now, is that a bit too narrow? Yeah, yeah we've got a bit too squashed there, haven't we? Yes. But we definitely wouldn't go as wide as the other team because they've got the ball. the ball. So we make sure that when we get the ball, we go wide. But when they've got the ball, we go narrow. Yeah? yeah. We call it stretch and squeeze. Now, what if the ball was with the other goalkeeper? What would the red team need to do? Defend. Defend, which means come in what? Really close to each other. Good. So what's that called? Is that a stretch or is that a squeeze? We squeeze together, right? But then what do my yellow team need to do now? Attack. Stretch. Stretch first. They stretch, which means going into what positions? Width. Go wide with width. Good boy. And get into positions where we can receive the pass. Now, this play is really wide, but he stood behind somebody. Is that a good position? No, we need to make sure that people can get to our feet. You got it? Well, the first thing we're going to do in this game, guys, is just make sure we understand that when we get the ball, we go wide. And when we lose the ball, we go narrow. When we get the ball, we stretch. And when we lose the ball, we squeeze. Everybody got that? Yeah. We've sort of done this. Um, okay. We look like a, a hive full of bees. Just all over each other. But then when the ball goes out of play, that's a really good time to reset. Everyone say that word back to me. Reset. And what we mean by reset is we get back into good positions that help us stretch the game, okay? And then the yellows might get back into good positions that help us squeeze the game, all right? Now, what we're going to do here to help you is we're going to give you a pancake. And that pancake is going to be your colour. So red players will have a red pancake, yellow players will have a yellow pancake. And what will happen here is we will put the pancake in the position that we need you to reset back to. Does that make sense? Yeah. So if I say reset, you don't look around and go, oh, where do I go? You go pancake, bang, and you get there quick. And then as soon as you're reset, we can flash the ball. Make sense? Yeah. So we're all going to go get a pancake now, red or yellow, to match your colour. Right guys, so now we've got our pancakes in position. We've got you much wider, because he's stretched in the game. And then Reds, you guys are making a triangle out there as well. I like it. Now Reds are missing a player, because they've only got three, but Jack is gonna help by being a goalkeeper. He's gonna be a bit of a defender too, like we've got, okay? But we've got our stretch now. What's the word that I'm gonna say when I need you to get first pancake? Reset, perfect. Are we ready to go? Let's play the game. Let's go, you. We're going to look at what you do when you lose the ball. Because what we said is we need to squeeze when the other team have got the ball. We need to stretch when we've got the ball. But what's been happening is because of where your pancakes are, we've had the red team lose the ball and actually be stood really, really wide. Where should they stand if they've lost the ball? They should squeeze and come a little bit narrower. So I'm going to give you two pancakes now if you're out wide. If we get the ball, you stand on the widest pancake. But if we lose the ball, and I shout reset, if you know that you're defending, you stand on the wider one or the narrow one. Do you stand on the stretch pancake or the squeeze pancake? That makes sense? Yeah. Now the middle players are gonna stay in the same place because this is a good place for him to be, whether we've got the ball or not. That's a good place for him, whether we've got the ball or not. But if Almas is stood over here, no, he's yellow. If Almas is stood over here and we've lost the ball, then that's fine. But if Almas is stood over here when we've won the ball, eh, eh, we need to go wide. Yeah? The other way around, we lose the ball. Whoop, and then we the go again there. Next and then, uh, so, so what we're going to do now, guys, is I'm going to give these guys that are out wide a narrow pancake to stand on and a wide one. You got it? But you only go stand on the narrow one if we've lost the ball. Oh, perfect. Stand it. So just to check understanding, Jax has got the ball here. So where would the yellow players go? Would they stay wide or would they come to the narrow one? Narrow. You go narrow then, Fedor. You do it. Thomas, you do it. There you go. All right. Now, we're going to roll the ball in here. Jack's got the ball in here. The yellow team have now got the ball. Where do the yellow players go? Yeah. Wide. And Ethan's already doing it. Yusuf's done it. You guys go narrow. Everybody 
Everybody get up. Yeah. Perfect. Are we ready? I'm going to see if you do it at the right time. All fours to Jack. All to yellow to Sue. Thomas, what are you? Squeeze. What are we doing? Red stretch. What we do once the game starts, because what Yule did, bless him, he's a, he's a clever kid, but he got a bit confused. What happened is he started here, because I said reset, so he went to sun his pancake. And I think his pancake must have had like some maple syrup or something, because it got very, very sticky. And when the game started and everybody was playing, Yule was just stuck to his pancake. And then the ball came near him and he was just stood on his pancake. And his teammate needed a bit of support and he was just stood on his pancake. So it was a good idea to start there, but does he stay there for the whole game? No. Absolutely not. He's sticky though. Yeah. But that's what we need to do. We need to keep our feet moving, make sure we don't get stuck. It was stuck. sticky deep open. Now, what also happened, Yule, and this was the whole yellow team, not just Yule this time, Yellow's got a corner up here, and they're attacking. They've got the ball. They could score. And do you know what they did? They all turned around and ran back to their pancakes over here. Are you going to score from that corner in this goal? If you're all the way up there, no chance. And then the red team, who was supposed to be defending their goal like a corner, they all started resetting back to their pancakes over here while Yellow's were trying to score. So it's important that we understand when we reset. We only reset when the ball is with our goalkeeper. You got that? Now, that also means... The ball might not even go out. It might be that our red team are like this and they're under a little bit of pressure and the yellows are trying to defend against them and they decide the best thing to do is pass the ball backwards. Ethan's done it a couple of times. He's passed the ball back to the goalkeeper. If he does that, the ball hasn't gone out for a goal kick. It's just at our goalkeeper's feet. But could we still reset? Can we still stretch? It would be a good idea to get our width back. Yeah. Absolutely. So what I want to see now is two things. Kids that are smart enough to play back to the goalkeeper. And then the team that's smart enough to stretch or squeeze. Just like we did when the ball went out. But now while the ball is still on the pitch. Goalkeeper gets the ball, we reset. You got it? Even if it didn't go over the goal line. Okay. Everyone understand? Yeah, yeah. Remember, no sticky pancakes. On your feet. It's the same. It's going to be exactly the same. But something's changed. Have a look around the pitch, see if you can notice anything that's changed. The pancakes are gone! The pancakes are gone. gone. Some burglar stole all my pancakes. It's you! Did you eat my pancakes? It's you! Alright, you are right. Oh, you are right. So we, we have hidden the pancakes, so now yeah. it's impossible to stretch. It's impossible to reset. Oh, and now we're just going to have to play like a lot of busy bees again. Yeah, don't, you, don't you think it is? Yeah, alright, Al Almas help us. If we memorise it, if we remember where to go, can we still go there? Yeah. yeah. If if we're in a good stretch position, do we need a pancake to tell us that? No. no. If the other team have won the ball, do I need a pancake to tell me where to stand? No. Or do no. I just squeeze? Squeeze. Yes. As long as we've got our diamond, and as long as we've got the right amount of width, or the right amount of squeeze, then we don't need the pancakes, do we? So that's your final challenge. We're going to play the game, and when I say reset, some kids will go exactly where they should. Some kids will go, I can't remember, but they can look at their teammates to work out whereabouts they should go. You got it? And some kids will go, let's hold the pancake, I don't know what to do! <laughs> Hopefully nobody will do that. You got it? So, we are going to reset without the pancake. Do you reckon we can do it? Yeah. Let's do it. There we go, guys. Right, so, even though we lost all our pancakes, we've still got a really nice reset for the yellows. Ethan has just realised that they've not got the ball, so he's starting to squeeze without the pancake. Well done. It's the play. Pass! Pass! Go on, Spider, I like the pass. Pass out the other side for a minute. It's a lovely switch of play. Well done, Yellows. Spider, I like the win. Can we find Fedor with the switch? Can we find Fedor if we get it, Yellows? Now stretch, 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 stretch. Excellent from Ethan. Excellent from Yusuf. Gone for a good switch. Excellent, Reds. Well done. Oh, he's found use of again. Brilliant. Let's go, Reds. Let's go. Can we attack now? Good switch of play. Good defending, Yellows. Love that from Ferro. That was brave. That was really brave. That's a goalkeeper's ball. But do you know how to reset anymore? Do you know how to stretch? You've done it. Perfect. Oh, now, Ethan. Good. He's recognised his mistake. He's just fucking in a little bit. Let's play. Good reset, guys, even without the pancakes. Now, guys, that session is supposed to be two different weeks. And with some groups, 
I do the first bit where it's like pancakes, stand in the right place, and get used to stretching. And then week two, we start to talk about squeezing, and we start talking about pulling the pancakes out to see if people can still do it. You guys just did week one and week two this week, but you did it so well, and you were so switched on, and you were also in the right positions, and I was like, you know what, let's make it harder again, and then you did it. Let's turn the pancakes out, and you still did it. And all that is down to how well you think. The best players in football are not always the best players with their feet. It's the best players who've got good feet, but a really good brain too. And the way you guys were thinking, the way you guys were following the instruction, when I was saying reset, everybody was going to the right place. Whether you had the ball, so you stretched, or you lost the ball, so you squeezed, you all did that absolutely brilliantly. Give yourselves a lot of round of applause. Well done. So next week is supposed to be part two, but I'm going to have to do something different because you've just done part one and part two in one session.